In Chicago, Star Wars Celebration, doing a trip vlog for the channel. Uh, apologize if this is boring, I'm not used to vlogging. But uh, just got into the hotel, got our badges ready. Thank you again to Christian Harloff for getting us that. Um, just gonna chill for a bit. Maybe take a shower, I've been up since four in the morning, leaving from Tampa. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna uh, freshen up a bit, hang out, chill a little bit, study a little bit. Um, and then head back to the convention grounds and hopefully bump into some people. Looking at you, Alex. From celebration day one day one was just really like walking around the exhibit hall just seeing all the fun like vendors and stuff uh, I might have scheduled something for Saturday that's pretty cool it's gonna be might be the only like kind of souvenir that I have gonna be coming from celebration um, I'll show it when I when I get it if I get it I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it but um, that's gonna happen on Saturday so but yeah we're back gonna have dinner Watch some more Star Wars on Last Jedi right now. Yeah, but so we're back in the hotel, just gonna watch some more Star Wars, do some last minute studying, um, because I did meet up with Alex and Molly of Star Wars Explained, ran into Emma Fife, the commissioner herself. But yeah, just in chilling, studying, preparing for tomorrow, which is a schmodown and big panel, uh, last, not last Jedi, wow, episode nine panel, big one tomorrow. We're gonna Wait outside there, see if we can bump some more collider people. But, yep, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, um, so day two of Star Wars Celebration. Um, just getting ready to head out. Um, we're gonna get some breakfast, and then head over to the convention center, where we'll probably, like what we did last time for Celebration, we couldn't get into the, the big panels, obviously, and any of the stages that they were streaming them, couldn't get into them either. Um, the lottery system this year was, was I, I like that system, but we just couldn't get in because we didn't get our badges in time and things like that. But so while we're getting ready to go out, obviously studying, watching Phantom Menace, and uh, doing some more studying, getting ready for matches. Because the matches is today at 2:15 on the fan stage. So um, been preparing as much as I can. But before that, we're, pro we're just probably gonna hang out of the main stage. See if we can run into a couple of collider crews, see if we can run into Christian and, and them um, before we head over to the Smurdon stage or the Masters of Trivia, I think it's what it's called. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll s see you guys there. So we're just outside of the uh, Galaxy Sage. Gonna stream the panel on the tablet. This is exactly what we did last time. Um, just didn't get our badges in time to get to any of the screening panels. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna sweat out here, stream the, the episode nine panel, and maybe bump into some collider people.
right, so we're back from celebration day two. Um, obviously, the probably the highlight of the morning, at least, was uh, the episode nine panel, which again we sat outside and streamed it. And um, I don't know, we, we got footage of that earlier, but uh, but yeah, the, that trailer and the, and the title of Rise of Skywalker. I mean, I can do a whole video on the trailer alone, and it was just just a great experience. I mean, the, I, I say it multiple times. I go to like a celebration. Star Wars fans were probably the best ever. I mean, like, no, not to knock any other fandom. But like I, I don't have this experience with anybody else with other than Star Wars fans. Like we just talked to random people. Um, we were actually streaming the uh, the episode nine panel on a tablet and just watching it. And this one person comes up to us and she's like, "I'm sorry, I didn't. My, my phone died. And I want I want to watch the stream." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, come come on in. It'd be, it'd be great. We're all one one big happy family, Star Wars family. Just like we we got to experience it again with uh, with another fan. So that's that's something that you don't get in any other fandom. I don't think." But yeah, that trailer and the title of "Rise of uh, of the Skywalker." I, like, what the what the f does that mean? I can go on and on about it, and, but that's for another video that I'll probably do when I get back to Orlando. Um, we're just stuck. We, you know, we're here in Chicago, so I don't. I, I want to enjoy the experience. I don't want to be constantly working. I just want to enjoy what we um, what we're doing um, while we're doing it, and not just be stuck in front of a computer editing videos all day long. But so. Uh, but obviously, again, the, the next highlight of the day was obviously the Schmodown panel that I was lucky enough to get uh, part of. And no spoilers, because this move, this video that I'm doing right now will probably come out uh, before the Schmodown come, goes airs on Collider. So I'm not going to spoil anything, but it was a one hell of a match. And just looking back on other Star Wars Schmodowns, questions were so much harder to start around. Complain all you want about the Star Wars division. Aside from one match, all of them have been nail biters. So um, if you want to fight me on that, go ahead and fight me. I, I, I'll i fight you all day on Star Wars. The Star Wars division is probably, again, the toughest division to compete in because of how hard the questions are and how deep you can go with them. Um, but yeah, that was great. But again, it, I think one of the takeaways I took from this experience with the Shmodown is like this is such a great group of people. I mean, we were talking to this this couple, Kristen Smith, who I believe runs the Facebook page, and her husband. We really befriended them uh, because we, uh, you know, we have a common, you know, think something in common with being um, parents of a, a beautiful daughter. So um, we just really, well, we reconnected with them, and I just want to just a really great shout out to them. It's like you, they're su such great people. But obviously, we're back at the hotel. Um, we're about to put on the number one contender match, uh, the triple, uh, triple threat match, and we're about to, to watch that because, uh, again, huge fan of the Shmona. I want to stay up to date on that. Uh, and you know, then after that, we're going to head out to Mark Ellis' show. He's taping his first comedy special, and we, we were lucky enough to uh, get tickets to that, and we're going to go to meet and greet, um, meet, uh, meet up with him. And, and So that's what we have planned for tonight, and hopefully we'll have a good time. So. I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow morning, and uh, tomorrow is kind of a, a loose schedule. Um, not sure what panels we're, we'll be able to get into, but um, yeah, we're just going to fly by the seat of my pants and see what happens. All right, day three of Star Wars Celebration. So, uh, we're going to be going to try to get to a panel for Del Rey books with all the writers, uh, and uh, I did it last time I'm here, that was really good. We were at uh, the comedy show for Mark Ellis, um, live taping of uh, his first comedy special last night. That was a lot of fun, um, aside from a couple of idiots in, in the crowd sort of ruining the show for us, but he he handled it really well. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun to just interact with everybody that was there. So that was pretty cool, um, but yeah, we're gonna head over to Celebration again today and get into a panel for two and then after that we're going to the live show for Schmodown. Um, gonna be awesome, gonna hang out with some competitors and um, and just shoot the shit. It's, it's gonna be a lot of fun so uh, see you guys there.
So day three celebration is complete. This is a very loose day. Um, only made, only made it to one panel, the Del Rey, um, like behind the scenes panel, just talking about um, the writer's process of how they write books. Uh, Timothy Zahn was on the panel, uh, Claudia Gray, and uh, a couple of that, other authors that their names escape me right now. Just uh, behind the scenes looks up their new books coming out. I was really looking forward to seeing like uh, what Claudia Gray's point of view on Master and Apprentice was. That this, I'm really excited for that one now to come out. Um, the Dooku audio only one was really cool because the panel was uh, moderated by Mark Thompson who is my absolute favorite uh, narrator for any of the Star Wars books. If you listen to him on Audible you know what I'm talking about. This is probably the last time I be able to get in the front of the camera like this uh, before we head back to Orlando. Sad. Um, but um, tonight is the Schmodown live event. Um, really cool to be a part of that. Um, I just, but again, this is probably the last time I'm be in front of the camera doing this because uh, you know, all the stuff that we have to go through tonight and then getting ready to go home tomorrow. Uh, but I really wanted to give a huge shout out to Kristen and her husband, John. They made this trip so much more enjoyable and did, they gave us the ins and out of like being a part of the Schmodown family. And it's just, if we, if they hadn't befriended us and shown us the ropes and how things, how things work and introducing us to other competitors and other people that are behind the scenes like uh, Skaliski, Frank, um, just pe those kind of people, and it would have been half as enjoyable if they didn't befriend us and just show us the ropes. It was just, they're they're a really cool, cool couple, and they have a really cute daughter. I think that's why we we bonded so um, so closely is because we, we're both parents. But um, I just wanted to give them a huge shout out, and, uh, and just I look forward to like talking to you on social media and meeting you in f future events if possible that we can meet up again. But uh, I just want to thank them. Just genuinely really thank them for um, the experience they gave us. So that was that's pretty much our, our Star Wars Celebration experience. Uh, really ex had a great couple of days. Um, re really fun. Mark Ellis' live show. Obviously Star Wars Celebration and the Schmodown and the Smart Out Schmodown live event. So I had a lot of fun. See you guys maybe next year. If there's one next year, maybe in two years. So we'll see what happens.